Hello and welcome to Daily Prayer for Tuesday the 2nd of June and a particular warm welcome if this is your first time with us. I hope you enjoy worshipping with us virtually. This is a short time of prayer. It'll last six or seven minutes and everything you'll need for it will appear on the screen. Do get in touch if we can be of any help at this time. Barry at hopechurchfamily.org. In the meantime, shall we begin with a moment of quiet? O oh God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. We're going to worship God now, a little expression of praise. I'm giving you worship with all my life. I'm giving you obedience with all my power. I'm giving you praise with all my strength. I'm giving you honor with all my speech. I'm giving you love with all my heart. I'm giving you affection with all my sense. I'm giving you my being with all my mind. I'm giving you my soul, O most high and holy God. Praise to the Father, praise to the Son, praise to the Spirit, the three in one. Amen. We're going to read Psalm 41 together. It's a psalm of David from a time when he faced illness and betrayal. A hard time and probably very relevant to how we feel at the moment. So let's say these words together. And as we say them, why not turn them into a prayer as you reflect upon your own circumstances? Blessed are those who consider the poor and needy. The Lord will deliver them in time of trouble. The Lord preserves them and restores their life that they may be happy in the land. He will not hand them over to the will of their enemies. The Lord sustains them on their sickbed. Their sickness, Lord, you will remove. And so I said, Lord, be merciful to me. Heal me, for I have sinned against you. My enemies speak evil about me, asking when I shall die and my name perish. If they come to see me, they utter empty words. Their hearts gather mischief. When they go out, they tell it abroad. All my enemies whisper together against me. Against me they devise evil, saying that a deadly thing has laid hold on me and that I will not rise again from where I lie. Even my bosom friend, whom I trusted, who ate of my bread, has lifted up his heel against me. But you, O Lord, be merciful to me and raise me up that I may reward them. By this I know that you favour me, that my enemy does not triumph over me. Because of my integrity you uphold me and will set me before your face forever. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Amen and Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. We're going to continue reading from Acts chapter 4 now. Peter and John had just been brought before the Jewish leaders and had been asked a very difficult question. By what power or what name did you do this? They were asked. Let's continue and see how Peter responds. Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, Rulers and elders of the people, if we're being called to account today for an act of kindness shown to a man who was lame and are being asked how he was healed, then know this, you and all the people of Israel. It is by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, but whom God raised from the dead, that this man stands before you healed. Jesus is the stone you builders rejected, which has become the cornerstone. Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now why don't you take a few moments to reflect on that passage. There are a few questions going to appear on the screen. And when you finish doing that, press play again to continue and we'll turn to prayer. Would you pray with me?
we're going to pray for school children, particularly those anxious about being back at school this week, and also those who are still at home with their parents. We pray for GP surgeries, for pharmacies and health workers in the community. Pray for scientific advisors, government decision makers, and also for other countries where poverty and unrest are still rife. And we think particularly there of Syria, of Afghanistan, of Yemen, and many others. And to give you time to do that, why don't you press pause on the video now and then click play to continue. Welcome back. We're going to continue in prayer as we pray this prayer of St. Augustine of Hippo. Eternal God, the light of the minds that know you, the joy of the hearts that love you, and the strength of the wills that serve you, grant us so to know you that we may truly love you, so to love you that we may truly serve you, whose service is perfect freedom, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Well, that draws our time daily prayer to a close for today. I do hope you've appreciated it and enjoyed worshipping with us. If you have any questions or if you need to get in touch with us in any way, do drop me an email at barry at hopechurchfamily.org and we'll see what we can do to help. In the meantime, let me finish simply by saying, may the risen Christ give us his peace. Amen.